Good morning, uh, Brian Smith, nursing professor at Mount Aloysius College. I just wanted to talk to you this morning for a little bit, uh, very briefly, about uh, the concept of infection and um, prevention of infection, specifically um, why the social distancing that we're doing presently. So that makes a little bit of sense to you. Um, now this right here, everybody should recognize, this is a tripod. Um, a tripod we know has three legs. Um, normally I would have my very expensive camera mounted on top of my tripod for this morning I don't for reasons that'll become apparent in a minute. Um, and so by design, as long as I have three legs of this tripod down, then whatever is up here is supported by that tripod um, and it's not going to, to tip over and fall and break and shatter into a thousand pieces. Um, however, if I were to collapse the tripod and take at least one leg of that tripod away, then whatever's on top of there can't be supported. The whole thing's gonna tip and fall over and whatever is supposed to be supported on top of there is gonna shatter and break into a thousand pieces. Um, the same concept um, applies to infection. And there is something called the epidemiological triad when it comes to infection, where there are three legs that support infection. Those three legs are number one, there has to be an infectious agent. There has to be a microorganism that could possibly infect me. Number two, the second leg is I have to be a susceptible host. Um, I have to be able to uh, grow that microorganism when it gets into my body. And number three, there has to be a mode of transmission. There has to be a way for that infectious agent to find its way to my body so that it can in fact grow in my body. So those are the three legs of the tripod um, that support infection. Here's the illustration I made to show that. Um, and just like my tripod, you've got three legs there, the infectious agent, the mode of transmission, the susceptible host. And on top of that, supported by those three legs is infection. And just like my tripod, if I could do something to knock away one of those legs of the tripod, then the whole thing is going to collapse and fall over. Now, there's a very small statistical chance that maybe the planets are aligned just right and the weather conditions are just right, that if I take away one leg of that tripod, the thing might just balance on two legs for a little while and, and still be supported. But the chances of that happening are very, very slim and very minimal. Um, so theoretically, if I could knock away one leg of that tripod, the whole thing is not going to be able to be supported. It's going to collapse and fall. And that is, in fact, how we prevent ourselves from becoming infected. Every measure that we use to try to keep ourselves from getting an infection all come down to eliminating at least one leg of this tripod. Because if I can knock out one leg, and it doesn't matter which leg I eliminate, if I knock away one leg of the tripod, the whole thing's going to fall over and collapse. And so let's talk about first the infectious agent. So there are strategies that we use um, to try to eliminate the infectious agent. Hand washing, number one intervention. So whenever I'm working with a patient, I go into the room. After I leave the room, I hand wash to get rid of any infectious agents that might be on my hands. Um, I use hand sanitizer to kill any infectious agent that might be on me. Um, I wipe down all the surfaces um, with Clorox bleach to kill any microorganisms that might be growing and get rid of those infectious agents on my equipment and on the tabletop and everything. And this is also where your antibiotics fit in. If I have an infection or I have a patient who has an infection, we give him antibiotics to kill the bacteria to eliminate that infectious agent. We eliminate the infectious agent, the infection goes away. So those are all strategies that we do. We put in place to try to eliminate that leg of the infectious agent. If I eliminate that, we don't get an infection. The next one, susceptible host. If I can do things to make my body less susceptible to that infectious agent, then even if I come in contact with an infectious agent, even if somebody coughs on me who has the flu, um, I'm less likely to get it if I'm not susceptible right now. So there are things that we do to try to eliminate that leg of the tripod. This is where your vaccinations fit in. If I get vaccinated to boost my immune system to that infectious agent, when I come in contact with it, I'm less likely to get it. If I'm getting adequate sleep, if I'm eating proper nutrition, um, if I'm getting adequate exercise and activity, um, if I'm managing my stress level, if I'm managing my chronic conditions, let's say I have diabetes, hypertension, if I'm managing those well and not letting them get out of control, then even when I do come in contact with somebody who has an infection, I'm less likely to get it because I'm less susceptible. Um, if I'm doing things to boost my immune system, like taking vitamin C, taking vitamin D, so that if I do come in contact with an infectious agent, I'm less likely to get it, I'm less susceptible. So those are all things that we do to make ourselves less susceptible to, to eliminate that leg of the tripod. So that even if I do come in contact with an infectious agent, I'm less likely to get it. And then the third leg of the tripod is the mode of transmission. 
So even if there is an infectious agent, if I can do something to prevent it from finding its way to my body, to taking root and growing in my body, then I'm not going to get an infection. So this is where we do things like where we put barriers in place, our personal protective equipment. So when I walk into a patient's room, I, I wear gloves. So that when I'm working with him, even if he is infectious and I'm touching things in his room or I'm touching him as a patient, whatever infection he has isn't going to find its way to my body because I have a barrier between us. This is where I wear a gown. This is where I wear a mask. So that even if he coughs and these droplets are, are leaving his body, you know, projecting out of his body about six feet away or so, then even if he coughs and he's infectious, if I have a mask, a barrier, it's not going to find its way to me. And then this is also where the social distancing fits, fits in. Even if he's infectious and he's coughing, as long as I stay a minimum of at least six feet away from him, then it's not going to find a way to get to my body and I'm not going to get an infection. That's why the present social distancing uh, measures are effective at minimizing the risk of infection. So I just wanted to talk to you a little bit this morning about, about infection and the concept of how to protect yourselves and specifically the social distancing and why we're doing that right now and hopefully help that make a little bit more sense to you. Um, so I hope that helped. Stay safe, everybody.